I am that Nate guy on YouTube. And I'm that other Nate guy on YouTube. And holy crap, are we excited. Because the Halloween season just began and we, we bought a haunted house. house. Not this haunted house. This haunted, haunted house. house. Alright guys, you just got a glimpse of the haunted house we bought and you're gonna see the whole thing in just a minute But for now, this is what it looks like. That's right. This is an inflatable haunted house We bought this last week on Facebook marketplace for the bargain basement price of $3,000 This is a professional grade inflatable haunted house that came with two ginormous blowers and we're about to set it up I have no idea how much this thing weighs, but it is heavy There it is, guys. I told you we bought a haunted house. Now, just at the first look, guys, you may not realize. You may just think this is a regular inflatable haunted house. But oh, no, 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 no. You can go inside. No, 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 no. You can really go inside. So if you guys have been watching on my channel, that other naked guy on YouTube, you may have already seen that I did a quick tour of this haunted house. That was the walkthrough to make sure that it was cool enough to buy. Now that we know that it was actually cool enough to buy, we, we bought, bought it. it. And now we're gonna take you in and check it out. Enter if you dare. I dare, holy crap, what in the world? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this right in the door. We have Frankenstein saying, you rang. This is actually pretty huge in here, guys. Look at this. We have a ghosty right on the wall here, followed by a witchy woman right here. Ooh, witchy woman. Oh my gosh, we have an area back here where you can like hide things. You can hide people or animatronics. And look at the window over here. You can actually see out this window right here, but when you're on the outside, you can't see in unless there's light in here. And there are little hooks around the top where you can actually hook lights and things. Okay, let's keep on moving here. We have a bat here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. We have a trick or treat Cat, a black secret keeping cat right here hanging around the corner. It looks like one of those dummies that you like to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Trick or treat, RIP, rest in peace. Oh my gosh, this is huge in here. All right, around this little bend here. Look at this, it looks like you can unvelcro this to make like another way through the maze. Then we have the skeleton here, a life-size skeleton on the wall, shackled to the wall. As we come through here, you can see another window and how there's a ghost up here on the outside. This is really thick, good quality too, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It is a flaming pumpkin. What the heck, this pumpkin is flaming and he's mean. 
<laughs> this is actually so much bigger in here than I expected. Like I'm about six feet tall and this is another at least foot up here. So if we were thinking of putting animatronics in here, we could totally stand, like Grim would actually fit in here, right here. We got bats along this side here. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hot in here. Kinda hot up in this piece. <laughs> it's kinda hot in these rhinos. It's kinda hot in these rhinos. <laughs> we got another pumpkin over here. Oh my god, this is huge. I can't believe how big it is in here. Oh look at this, this actually like folds. So if you're walking, you can push it out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, we got a pumpkin guy waiting. It's a pumpkin stack. We got one, two, three pumpkins there. But what's up with the arms? They're like extra arms that just come out of nowhere. That's Velcro, so you could open that up and make the maze even more confusing. And then as we come through here and we push the pumpkin man out of the way, we have more bats here. We have another witchy woman over here. Looking at this place from the outside, guys, you would not realize that it's so big on the inside. And it's so tall here. That is amazing. All right, through these things here, we got another ghosty on the wall over here. And then as we, <laughs> oh my God. As we come around this corner, we have a giant spooky spider. Holy crap. That is hilarious. All right, we get past the giant spooky spider into another long hallway. This must be what keeps all the characters inflated throughout the, uh, the haunted house. We got more hanging things here. Oh my god, look at this. It's ghost face. <laughs> we have ghost face waiting to murder us. And look at this, it cracks me up the arms on these things, because yeah, it just looks like those wrestling dummies. There's kind of a tight squeeze in there. Through whatever these hanging things are here again. And then we have another door with the rest in piece uh, coffin on it. That just pushes out of the way. Okay, we have an emergency exit here, which is actually a zipper that if you needed to get out, you could unzip it. Apparently a vent right here, or maybe that's where you can run like a fog machine in or some lights because we do have the hooks up here, so you could run them right in here and begin them there, run them all along on the inside. We got another witchy woman here. We got some more, what the heck, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's like Dracula, but what it reminds me is the super host. It reminds me of the super host from like the 1980s TV show. That's hilarious. Like Superman colors and he's wearing yellow gloves. Is that yellow or orange? Orange. <laughs> okay. Man, some of this is a tight squeeze through here, guys. In the pitch black, this would be totally awesome. I'm only in the first place here. Who the heck can't see anything? I'm so, I'm like so dizzy in here right now. All right. It is the long Another flaming pumpkin. I can't believe how big it is in here. Oh, we got another bat on this side of the wall. Another ghost over here. Big area. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. We have Satan. Die. Die, Satan. <laughs> there, I can't believe there's so much room here. You actually could have some tall animatronics in here. Okay, another corner here, a little cove. We got another coffin here. Oh my gosh, okay, so up in here, we have a cove over here where you can hide a person or an animatronic or an inflatable. We have another cove here, which is your choice whether you wanna go through this side or this side. So let's go ahead and go through this side first. And we have ghosties waiting to scare us. <laughs> ghosties with strange arms. Let me go, ghosties! All right, down around the corner here, we have whatever this skeleton bat guy is here. He's got an arrow pointing this way, but wait a minute, I can see we have something hanging back here too, if we would have chosen to go the other way. So let's go back around, because I want to see what that is. Back through the ghosties. Yeah, look how big it is back here in this little cove, like where somebody could hide and jump out and scare the living crap out of you. Or else you could have an animatronic here or another inflatable or something. 
that's a huge area. Then we got the door over here that's Velcro. You could open that up and make it even more confusing. And then through here, we're gonna reveal who the other ghostie is. What in the world is that? It's Nacho Libre. <laughs> Get that corn out of my face. All right, let's push through Nacho Libre and we're back down to the corner here. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna fall over. Man, this thing just keeps on going and going. This is insane. Another cove right here around the corner. We got another shackled skeleton guy over here on the wall. Another turn. Oh, and we got a huge cove back here. Ah! <laughs> I actually jumped a little bit. <laughs> this is enormous back here. The only issue you might have if you were putting animatronics is that this is kind of a curved floor in here. But you can figure out something. Man, all right, let's keep going here. We're not done yet. We got another cove right in here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that feels good. That's where the air comes in, right there. Another cove around here. Here's the Velcro door I was talking about. Over by Nacho Libre. Another turn over here. Another turn over here. Another ghosty on the wall over here. Another turn. Oh my gosh, this is truly a maze, guys. And as you come around this end, we finally get to the exit. E X I T. Dog will hunt. And saying goodbye as we exit, we have the black bat. Everybody thank our tour guide here. All right, hit it. There we go. That was truly an awesome tour right there, guys. Let's take a look at the outside. Look at this, right on top, we have this enormous ghost welcoming us. We do have what's supposed to be like a smokestack up here. It doesn't want to inflate all the way, but it's still cool. You can see on the front, we also have a ghost coming out each of these windows. We have a Frankenstein right here on the front doors. And we got this weird thing up here. I'm not even sure what the heck that is supposed to be. We have a headstone over here that says RIP and another one over here that says Fred's Bed. I don't know what the heck that means, but <laughs> we have the enter if you dare sign right here. And then over this one, we have where it says exit because it is the exit. This side over here doesn't have any characters or anything on it. That's just where you hook up the big fans. But this side over here does have some more characters. Let's go ahead and take a look. We have the double bats over here. We have a pumpkin over here. We have a ghost coming out this window and we have more bats over here. And these are the windows that I was saying inside where you can't see in from outside, but you can see out from inside. If I put the camera right up against it, you can see inside. There's our skelly bones and our, uh, our other flaming pumpkin in there. But yeah, if you're just standing back here, you can't see anything through these windows. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That was our grand tour of our new haunted house. If you want to see the initial video when I first discovered this on Facebook Marketplace, you can head over to my channel at That Other Nate Guy on YouTube to check it out now. And make sure, guys, that you subscribe to That Nate Guy on YouTube, That Other Nate Guy on YouTube, and That Nate Guy on Halloween, because we are going to be making lots of videos with this awesome haunted house, and you never know which channel they're going to be posted on. So stay tuned. Thank you.